who you are is what you do or is it what you do is who you are <laughs> i want you to hold on to that statement i'm going to give it to you again and but i just want you to write it down for right now who you are is what you do that statement came to me i was at a chaplain's retreat um which it was I, I retreat you. You should go overnight someplace. And well, it was a retreat. It was a four-hour retreat uh, that we, the chaplains at the hospital, got together. And Kent is our boss, and he pulled us together. And it really was a great four hours together. Um, I, I, I really enjoy it when I connect with the other chaplains. Um, I'm the um, per diem chaplain. I'm the one on call. Really, just one. Usually, it's just one week in a month. Uh, I'm on call at the uh, at the hospital. But and the others are either they're full times or part time. And actually, we have hospice chaplains uh, uh, there, too. And it was a great time. Joy being with the guys, joy connecting with them. Well, Kent gave us this phrase and it got me to thinking a lot about it. Who we are is what we do. Who we are is what we do. So and I got to be, well, wow, what does that mean to me? For, for example, maybe some people, what they what they want to be in life is they want to be wealthy. And so who they are, they want to be, that's what they're going to be doing to get more wealth. And, uh, or they like stuff, and want to get more stuff. And, and I got to thinking, who am I? <laughs> so who am I? <laughs> and even as a little kid growing up, I think I like to engage with people. Now, we like to say we're just people. And maybe we're people, people. But I liked it as I grew older. I found ways that I can engage with people. Um, well, being a storyteller. I've got a story I'm working on now for you. But that's not the time. Or or maybe I can engage with people. Well, maybe by preaching. Uh -huh. I guess so. You know what's interesting? How, how I engage with people today? Yeah, i got to tell you. Some of you know. You can, I'm a wave walker. In fact, I send this email out to some of my friends called Journey of the Wave Walker. And I wave walk. And, and somebody once asked me, um, do you wave walk um, for you or do you wave walk for others? And I had to think about that for a minute. And maybe at first I was wave walking because uh, it felt it was really fun to see how people are engaging back at me, honking their horn and this and this. And then as the longer I started doing it, I got to thinking, you know, maybe I'm wave walking for the person driving by just for that brief moment. Maybe they're having a bad day or whatever. But if that brief moment we engage and they smile and they laugh and, and I, for a brief moment, I thought maybe I'm doing it for them. And then I started thinking more and more who what I do is who I am, you know. I think uh, I wave walk to engage, we engage together. I think when I was preaching, I wanted to engage with people together. We're on this journey together. I hope I never preach like I'm preaching at them. It's like, here's my journey. Or I want to be, we're on the journey together. We're engaging with one another. And when I wave walk, just for that brief moment, uh, we engage with each other. Because we live in a, we live in a crazy world where we need each other people. Um, we need to be together, to pray together, to encourage one another in this whacked out world. We really need that. I call myself the cheerleader. I, uh, in addition to uh, being a chaplain uh, one week in a month at the, uh, at the uh, hospital, I have about eight businesses I go to and I walk into there and I pray with them. Um, sometimes they're busy, and I know they're busy. I might walk into these places, they're all downtown, and sometimes they're busy, and I know it. I'll just say, hey, pray for you, and they thank you. And some have, I mean, when, when they have time, um, boy, we they oh, chaplain, we're so glad when you come by. Because we're, we're engaging with one another. Uh, it's awesome to be a chaplain in the community, you know, I guess I could say. Because it's, and I'm not doing it for me because I feel good doing it. And I'm really not doing it. Well, I am doing it for them, but we're engaging together. So write this down. I really want you to uh, think about it. Who you are is what you do, or what you do 
is who you're, you are. Ah, I know who I am. I'm the wave walker. I'm the chaplain. I'm the cheerleader. I want to engage with you together so uh, we can walk together on this crazy world. We engage with one another and we invite Jesus to engage with us. Who you are is what you do. What's that mean for you?